Hey what's up guys, got another cell phone review for you. Today we are looking at the Oppo A91. Now if I'm entirely honest, I don't think I've ever actually touched an Oppo phone before this, so I'm learning with you. The first thing that I actually noticed as soon as I took this out of the box was that it feels very, very light compared to things that I've been used to. Lately we've seen the um, Z Flip, which I quite liked, and my daily driver is a Note 10 Plus. Now, I think it's important to give this phone a bit of credit in the sense that this phone at the moment is $599 at Noel Lemmings as of the time of filming this. So we've got to remember that this is not a flagship level phone. But, for the money, I'm actually quite impressed. Aside from the weight, the next most important thing that I noticed was actually the user interface. As soon as it was fired up and I looked at the menus, it seemed very, very, very dated. You'll see just scrolling through, it does seem sort of Samsung S6 kind of icons and feel and things of that nature, but then the overlay for the notification center and things like that feels very Apple and it's actually quite nicely done. Just to quickly run through the specs, this has got 8 gigabytes of RAM, it's got 128 gigabytes of storage and a 48 megapixel camera. Now let's break that down. The 48 megapixel camera is not a 48 megapixel sensor. It, I'm not entirely sure what the sensor is. I would assume somewhere around the, a 20 mark and then it's doing the digital upscaling, which I'm not actually that impressed with. Um, but that being said, this phone is a quarter of the price of the last phone that I reviewed, but the camera, I wouldn't say is a quarter of the quality. I'd say it's definitely passable. If you're using it for keeping images of friends and the occasional social media post and things like that, and you're just trying to convey a visual image, it will do that. But this is definitely not a high-end camera, as much as they may claim wanting to use the 48 megapixel advertising. In terms of the RAM and the performance, I decided to have a go with uh, Car X Drift Racing 2, which is a game I play often, and this actually performed very, very well. The phone that I started playing that game on was a Galaxy S9, and that had some performance issues in terms of being able to actually run the game properly. This actually hasn't had really any stuttering at all. There wasn't too much in the way of loss of resolution, there wasn't really any lag, but the phone did warm up a little bit. I would say that the processor is in about this area because that did get a little bit warm. Not hot to the touch, but definitely a noticeable temperature increase. The screen itself for media consumption isn't bad. It does have the little nipple at the top of the screen, which for the rear facing camera, which can be a little bit distracting if you're watching it in full screen. But I actually found that I was using this in native sizing for the YouTube video I was watching and it looked absolutely fine. I'd actually say it's quite good quality which is actually a stark contrast to one of my only gripes about this phone, which is audio playback through the speakers. It is pretty dismal. I didn't expect it to be amazing. Um, I did think it was a little bit on the crackly side and a bit tinny, and it is what it is. It's a relatively inexpensive device, so I didn't expect the earth, but it's one little bottom facing speaker, and if you cup your hand around it, that will generally fix the problem, unless you're using it at high volume, in which case it's going to sound like crap. We've got the USB Type-C, which allows for very fast charging. Uh, they claim a very short amount of charge for very long use. I'll find what the details are and they'll be in the website below. Uh, but it still has a 3.5 headphone jack. Now this is important to audio files for very, very simple reason. The audio that can be carried across 3.5 is superior to Bluetooth. So you can get a lot more volume and clarity out of it that way. So having that still there is actually quite nice. Not to the point where I actually still use it. I still use Bluetooth when I'm at the gym and that's good enough because I've got a very nice set of headphones, but it's nice to have. At the end of the day, I'm actually going to give this phone quite high marks. It looks the part, it's nice and light, it will perform pretty much what most people want of it and you're paying nearly a third of the price as what a flagship model that probably is going to be underutilized is going to cost you. So in my experience, I actually think this is quite a good buy. The only thing that I would say that would hold me back from it would be the camera quality, but that being the nature of what we do, I want the best quality on hand at the time. Um, so I would personally spend the extra money to get something better, but if you're not doing content creation and you're just using it for Facebook and Instagram and stuff like that, you're going to get away with it. And I think this is actually going to be quite an attractive phone. I don't actually know anything about the reliability or support networks around Oppo in New Zealand, because as I said, this is the first one that I've done but 
Yeah. In terms of an actual device, hands-on in the time that I've had it, yeah, I've been, I've been using it for a couple of weeks and it is, I'm actually quite impressed. And considering that cell phones these days are getting upwards of $2,500 for a flagship, which at the end of the day, who really needs that? This is actually pretty decent buying. I would actually recommend this as an option for people to go and try out and see if they like it. So in the sense of full disclosure, this is a demo phone and I will be returning it now that I have now done my review. But they sent us another one because we're going to be giving this one away. And that's just because the people at Oppo thought that you guys might like one. So all we're going to do is we're just going to throw it up on the website. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, just head over to the website. The link will be in the description below. If you're already on the website, scroll down and you'll just see a little bit of a disclaimer there in terms of conditions. And we'll be giving this away to one lucky winner. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.